Hello everybody, Spider Richard here and today we are doing another achievement in Minecraft. Well today we are actually doing two achievements. We are going to spawn the wither and we are going to kill the wither. So first of all, we're going to start off in the tutorial world of Minecraft. Then what we're going to do is we are going to wander into this little village over here, the very beginning place with all the tutorial stuff and the uh, and the beacon. And we're going to run all the way down here and we are going to grab ourselves the iron out of the chest as always in front of the beacon. Then we're going to grab ourselves some wood and we're going to make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Now if you if you haven't if you can't be bothered to make a craft until yourself there is one if you go just inside this door through this door and look in this little cupboard here and you see there is the crafting table to make yourself an iron pickaxe. Dun da da da. Then I'm just going to get rid of all my crap, keep the pickaxe where I need it and then we'll move on to the next bit. So the first stop we are going to make in the tutorial world is right here in front of these big steps at negative 2, 1, 4, 95 and negative 1, 7, 6. It's in the top, well, the more top left corner of the map. And if you go up the stairs and into this castle here, we're going to grab ourselves a wither skull. So in order to spawn the wither, you are going to need three wither skulls in total. And in the tutorial world, there are two who that you can find and just pick up randomly and well they're not random <laughs> they're in specific places there's two you can pick up and I want to show you the first one here and then after that you're gonna have to go get a third from the nether from an actual wither skeleton so if you go this way up the stairs to the left and you go inside this doorway that is on my right and then if you go right inside here next to the fire is a wither skull now it's this black one here in between the skeleton and the zombie so the wither skull's position is negative 320 122 and negative 146 and you can see where i am on the map so yeah that's where it is and pick up this skull which is the gray with the gray one the wither skull the second wither skull is inside this little castle-like building and if you go inside it is here and I guess it's supposed to be the TV because it's in front of the sofa. So on the map it is here in the bottom right and it is at 308, 73, 194. So there you go, There's, well, that's the location of the two, well the second wither skull. So pick that up and then we'll go get the last one. Before you go get the last wither skull, head to this little building here, which is on the south coast of the map. If you have a look at your map, and uh, this is why we need the diamond, the, the iron pickaxe, the coordinates are negative 5, 71, 3, 3, 6. So if you're here and you look up from your map, you'll see this little wall just in front of you. If you get your iron pickaxe out, and if you dig a little bit under here, you'll notice da, 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 there is diamond running along the bottom of the wall, which is absolutely awesome. Now this runs both ways and you can get a total of 26 diamond blocks from this. So mine them all and then we'll move on to the next part. After making yourself full diamond armor, making yourself a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword, head to the top left hand corner of the map and go to this mushroom island. It's very easy to spot and it's got this nice little bridge that pops out of the water because of the sticky pistons which are hidden underneath it. And then once you get up to the very top, you should see a nether portal. Now what we're going to do is we're not going to go through this nether portal to get the last wither skull. We're going to mine ourselves some obsidian and make another one elsewhere. So to make a nether portal yourself, you will need 10 blocks of obsidian. So grab yourself 10 blocks of obsidian. Once you've got your 10 blocks of obsidian, head back to the first tutorial area, which is the little village at 35683, and uh, go inside the potion making shop here. Now, this is personally where I found the best place to make your portal is if you just build it in the wall here, because it will spawn you right next to a nether fortress, which is where we're going to need to go. So if you make sure your game is on peaceful after you've saved and exited, then just head through to the nether, and then we're going to get ourselves the third wither skull. So once you get through, you'll uh, you'll end up in this bit here. Once you come through, turn around and head this direction. So first, we're going to walk past all this fire. It's a bit of a mess where I've just spawned because I accidentally uh, left it on easy and there was a bunch of gas trying to kill me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and then we're going to go along here and you'll notice in the distance, where well, you should be able to see it quite soon, there is a nether fortress, which is where we're going to go to try and uh, get ourselves the third wither skull. So there's a nice little way that you can get down round about this place here or you could just jump if you're on peaceful your health will, will regenerate oh and first of all while you're here grab yourself four bits of soul sand that is the brown stuff here we will need that in order to spawn the wither as well as the third skull from the wither skeletons 
So like I said, continue along here and get yourself into this, uh, this nether fortress. Then we're going to do something which is very, very important to the game, which is we're going to uh, do a bunch of saving and quitting out and restarting our game a bunch of times to get in a wither skull. So like I said, run inside this nether fortress just here. This is a place where I personally like to do it. Then we're going to stop and we're going to save our game. Now make sure the auto save is disabled and keep it disabled because you do not want that on. And then you're going to exit your game because we're playing on peaceful and then we're going to reload it on easy. Once you've loaded the game on easy, what you're going to do is you're going to walk around this nether fortress until you find a couple of wither skeletons, which are these things right here, the big tall gray skeletons. So once you find a couple of them, save, don't enable the auto save. And once you've done that, then continue playing and kill them both. Now what you're doing is you're gonna keep killing these two over and over again until one of them drops a wither skull. Now it may take a while because the drop rate is quite, quite slow. So once you've killed them, then uh, they haven't dropped a skeleton. Well, they haven't dropped a skull. Exit without saving. And remember, don't enable the autosave and load that exact same save again and you will respawn with the two skeletons right in front of you. And you can kill them over and over and over again until eventually one of them drops one. So after you've got the third wither skull, head back to the area where you're going to spawn the wither. I like to do it here in the middle of the little, uh, in the middle of the little village. Plonk the third head on the T shape once you've made it, and that will spawn the wither. Now, obviously, I am on peaceful at the minute, so it will not spawn. So I'm just going to dig this head out, and I'm going to reload the game on easy. Before spawning the wither, it is probably very, very important to make yourself a bunch of food, a bunch of health potions, and enchant as much stuff as you can. You can see here I've got like a bunch of health potions, and if you go to this guy, he will sell you arrows in exchange for emeralds, which you can uh, break off the beacon. So once you've uh, once you've got yourself fully tooled up and you're ready to go, the last thing I need to do is sort my little menu out. I think I'm good to go, and I just need my wither skull, and then I'll place it on top, and we will defeat the wither once and for all. Now, a good reason to do it around here is because there's plenty of villagers. Oh, also remember to save before you actually, uh, before you plonk that skull on, because if you die, you're going to have to do it all again, and that would suck. So like I said, uh, a good reason to do this roundabout here is because you'll get distracted by the villagers and he will um, and he'll just he'll not attack you unless of course you start attacking him. So here is the wither and we are going to try and take him out with our little bow right here. So he's with his health to fully charge and then once he turns grey, start chinning him with your uh, with your bow and arrow. Like I said earlier on, if you do this in this area, he will be fully distracted by the villagers and stuff and will give you very, very little trouble and you'll be able to get his health down pretty fast using your, using your bows and arrows. A good place to be is on top of the roof, so you can uh, get quite a few good shots in if from up here, and he will have quite a bit of difficulty getting to you. So yeah, stick to the rooftops if you can. If you can't, then just just stay down the bottom and just keep out of his way, because he does fire those little skulls at you, and they do cause quite a lot of damage. But like I said, you should have plenty of health potions, plenty of food, so that shouldn't be a problem. Now the main thing you have to remember when you're doing this is that once you get his health down halfway, he will start becoming and shielded. Shielded? Is that even a word? Oh, anyway. Alright, so here he is at half health and he's got his little shield up and your uh, your bow and arrow will do nothing until that little uh, that little white cloudy thing goes away. So here is a perfect opportunity to get your sword out and start bashing his face in. Hopefully you shouldn't get too badly damaged, especially if you've got loads of enchantments on and he's fully distracted by the villagers and stuff. And then once you get your final blow in there, you will get your achievement for defeating the wither. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I've already defeated him once, so uh, the achievement didn't pop. I'm very, very upset about that. But uh, that's how you do that pretty easily. And then once you finish, you get attacked by a skeleton. So anyway, guys, I hope this video has helped. Best of luck getting this achievement. Well, these two achievements. I will catch you later.